Saddle sores for female cyclists can be a bit of an issue. So I'd like to talk in this video about our chamois cream for women, which is an endurance focused antibacterial and skin conditioning cream that can prevent saddle sores. We've got a men's chamois cream and also a women's chamois cream, but there are some considerable and notable difference in our, in our women's product. For this product, we need to make sure that it's appropriate and balanced for the female genitals that it's got a really light and smooth texture. It can wash out of your nicks and it's also got some antibacterial ingredients that also help repair the skin as well. So for both our men's and also our women's product, the lubrication base is the same. It's a blend of triglycerides and also dimethicone. We don't use any petrolatum in the product. So your clothing and your cycling shorts will be safe um, with this product. The other uh, three ingredients that are common across the two products are tree, tea tree oil for its antibacterial properties, aloe vera to help soothe and also shea butter for healing as well. But specifically in the women, we've got macadamia, which performs a um, protective layer uh, that softens and hydrates. And we also combine that with quandong and desert lime to deliver potent vitamin C and antioxidants to the skin in that region. We've got wattle seed in there that tackles inflammation, whilst the shea butter also boosts elasticity as well. To combat um, irritation and infection, bacteria and fungi, we use the trio of tea tree oil, aloe vera, and also lavender. And the capric, caprylic triglyceride, also promotes, promotes smoothness, um, enhanced glide, and intense hydration as well. So what's the difference between the men's and women's other than just those ingredients? And the main difference is, is that it's the pH balance. And we pH match the cream to that of the female genitalia. So the, the pH for the female genitalia is between about 3.8 and 4.5. And for the skin, it's 4.7 or 5.7. So when we're normally formulating a, a product, we'll match it to the skin. But in this situation, um, we've uh, matched it to the delicate areas um, for the females. There's also no synthetic fragrance in here. So everything that you smell in this product is natural and synthetic, can, synthetic ingredients can actually kind of cause irritation. So we haven't included that there. So to apply this product, um, you need somewhere between about half and one tablespoon per ride. You can rub it into the skin or actually into the chamois itself. It's up to you which you'd like to do, but most people will apply it to the skin. The most important thing is that you just apply it to the areas that are gonna be in contact with your saddle. I'd suggest that you re reapply the cream about every four to six hours, depending on conditions. So if it's humid or hot, or there's a lot of rain, for instance, you might wanna kind of push that forward and apply a little bit sooner. Um, if it's a really nice cool day, then maybe you don't need to. Also how much you're sweating will um, kind of impact it as well. So about four hours for most is what most people use. After the ride, um, consider the Premax Recovery Cream, which can help soothe and accelerate recovery and repair of the skin. So the combination of both the chamois cream before and the recovery cream after should keep the skin in great condition. We get a couple of questions about um, the, the chamois cream. The first one is, does everyone need chamois cream? No, not everyone needs chamois cream. For people who are just doing really short, light rides for maybe half an hour or 45 minutes, most people don't need chamois cream for that. Also, um, people who are um, seasoned riders, like the professionals, for instance, um, can um, the, the skin in the area can kind of toughen up with time a little bit as well. Um, so you see some of the pro riders don't need it, for instance. But a lot of people do, and prevention's always better than cure. In our experience, the thing that kind of triggers saddle sword is usually a change of some kind. So you've increased your kilometers or miles on the bike, or the weather has changed where it's kind of got humid or it's been raining a lot, or you've changed your gear, or you've moved off the road and onto the indoor trainer a little bit more. So those periods of change is when we tend to see most problems. So it's at that time is probably where this product is um, useful to try for the first time. The other question we get often is, is can it be used for purposes other than cycling? Yes, it can. It, it can be used for horse riding, uh, motorbike riding, and also just as a general anti-chafe cream. So 
um, if you're getting chafing in other areas like with running in, in your shoes um, around your bra strap that type of thing you can use that or have a look at our anti-friction balm um, product um, which is a bit more targeted to those areas.